I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and I'd like to welcome you to today's Cisco certification video, where today we're going to take a look at configuration modes. And I want to mention to you, especially those of you studying for your CSENT or your CCNA exams, that somewhere along the way when you're studying and you're on your way to these certifications, you're going to run into something that trips you up a little bit or maybe doesn't come to you immediately. And frankly, for me, one of those things was configuration modes. Now, I'm a CCIE today, but I have never forgotten what it's like to get started with your Cisco studies and how difficult some of it can be. And the thing with config modes that trips up a lot of certification candidates is that you can have the right command for the job you want to get done, but if you're not in the right configuration mode, it's not doing you much good. But we do get a little bit of a clue as to what's going on, and we'll take a look at that here in just a moment. Right now, as you can see, we're in user exec mode on router one, and from here, you can run show commands, but that's really about it, and we do have quite a few show commands we can run. And do not worry, you do not have to know what all of these are yet <laughs> uh, to pass your CCNA and your CSENT exams, but the, a lot of this will come later in your Cisco studies. But for now, it's important to note that while you can run show commands here, you really can't run much of anything else. The command that we're going to run here to illustrate what happens when you run a command that is not going to work in that particular mode is service password encryption. It's a fairly common command, and certainly you need to know all about that one to pass your exams. So I run service password encryption in user exec mode, and this is what can throw you. It doesn't run and it doesn't work, but we do get a little message that says invalid input directed at caret marker. And there's the caret showing you where you went wrong. And basically the router's saying you were okay up to this point. And when your command is only good up to one letter, that's a pretty good indication that you were just simply in the wrong configuration mode. What I wanna warn you against is that many candidates just look at that part and you look at that and say, oh, you know, the, the command's wrong, I got the command wrong. You don't have the command wrong, you have the mode wrong. And that's simple enough to fix. Here we're going to go into enable mode or privilege exec mode. And this is more of a launching pad for our different configuration modes. But you really can't configure anything here either. If I use the up arrow to repeat my last few commands and try to run service password encryption from here, I get the same message. Now we got one letter further, but still we're not able to run service password encryption at this particular mode. Do note also how the prompt changed. That's what you want to watch on your exams and in the real world, because it happens to all of us. You're entering a command, it's like, why doesn't this work? It's not working because you're in the wrong mode, not necessarily that you have the wrong command. What we can run here is conf t, that is short for configure terminal. And I'll go out of that and show you the options and then the option we're going to pick. And now if I run service password encryption from here, it's going to work. So what you've got to watch on the exam, you know, you might get multiple choice questions with this, but you also run into it in the real world. Watch your prompt here because this is telling you what mode you're in. And right now we're in global configuration mode. Now let's say I wanted to go to serial zero on this particular router and put frame relay on it. I'll give us a little room here. If I run encapsulation frame relay right here, what's going to happen? I'm in global configuration mode and I'm running encap frame relay. Well, I hit enter and invalid input. Well, this is a valid command. I'm just not using it at the right point. And here, I need to go into interface configuration mode with interface followed by the interface I want to configure. And then I can just put in-cap frame short for encapsulation frame relay. Again, notice that once I entered this part, this command, I went into interface configuration mode. Now, occasionally you may configure sub-interfaces and I just want to show you what that's going to look like. And it's going to give us incomplete command because when you're configuring one of these, you have to define it as multipoint or point to point. And notice here that the prompt changed again to sub IF. 
So now we are in sub interface configuration mode. If you just want to go back one mode, so to speak, you can just type exit. But if you want to go all the way back to the uh, enable prompt, you can just do a control Z and get out like that. So again, you've seen here where the command can be legal, but we've got to get it in the right configuration mode as well. If you're configuring your VTY lines, of course, these are the lines that Telnet and SSH connections come in on. And if I want to set a login and a password for that, I've got to do it on the VTY lines. And notice here again that the configuration prompt changed to config line. And then I could put my login and my password here. Now, obviously, I would not use a four-character password, but the reason I did this, just one little extra bonus here for you, it's kind of away from config modes. I get this question once in a while, well, you know, I typed login on my VTY lines, and I got these login disabled messages. Well, again, we can't just read this part. We need to read the entire thing. Notice it says, until password is set. It does not matter in which order you put the login and password commands on your VTY lines, just make sure to use them both. And also make sure to use longer than four character passwords because I'm obviously not going to leave that on the router. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I invite you to come out to the website www.thebryantadvantage.com. Got over 250 free Cisco tutorials, videos, and practice exams just waiting for you along with free daily questions and videos on the blog. So make sure to check that out. If you want to go straight to the tutorials page, it's Tutorials HTM. I'm Chris Bryant, CCI number 12933. Again, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you on the website.